Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, we are going to talk about visual level formatting in Power BI. What is this? What is the benefit of it once you use it? Let's try to understand as part of this video. Basically, this will allow you to format fields, like right? whatever fields you use in a visual and measures on a visual, overriding any formatting string already set in the model. That is what visual level formatting. Let's assume uh, you have uh, some visual and you have two to three fields and there are certain formats set in the model level. The column level only usually will set the format even for the meshes. But for certain visuals that format you should not apply. For all other uh, places you use that column or measure that format should apply. So when you set a visual level format then that can override the model level format that is the whole thing where you will apply if you choose a visual then you have a general and you have a data format there you can override the format that i've set in the model let's try to check it out as part of this video what it is this channel contains a free content that covers power bi msbi fundamentals of azure and data factory Utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's jump into demo. So I am in Power BI now. Now let me tell you what I'm talking about. Let's see you have uh, set a format in this visual. If you see in my previous video, I have set a format uh, for this visual. If you click on this measure which uh, measure level format this is the format based on the uh, format that we have defined in the call uh, another table let's choose australia you can see uh, that will show us uh, the value in the au dollar if you choose canada cad and if you choose uh, france that will show only dollar uh, that is what we have defined right but i don't want this behavior for a particular visual so let's try to copy this control c click on that visual control c and control v let's assume you have a different visuals over here with different formats right uh, let's uh, do it in a chart or some other kind of um, visuals let's do it as a chart only because this is the year now when I show here right I don't want to show uh, here with the Australian dollars or something like that that is that can be different scenarios only for particular visual you need to show common uh, uh, format but this visual I don't want to show that for that usually we will create another measure without the format thus you can avoid it right now what we can do it like for this visual go to uh, general and you could go to data format and you can choose whatever columns you have used if you use multiple columns you can choose each column what format you need to use for this if you choose the sales usually it will be automatically by default whatever format you have used that will pop up now you see here now I choose Australia AU dollar uh, now go back here click on this general data format sales i say i'll do whole number i don't want any uh, formatting like au you can see this is become a normal number let's try to revert back uh, as a matrix visual so now you can see when i choose canada this visual shows me cat which is the default behavior i set in the model but this particular visual i can override whatever set in the model whatever i want within this visual i can show it slightly differently that is what this all about i hope you understand the purpose of this um, visual level formatting which will override for your certain uh, criteria or requirement meaning like you have one uh, uh, format set and that particular measure let's assume you used in 10 to 20 places in your reports and different pages but for a particular place well people say like no no don't apply this uh, formatting here that is not applicable here 
then usually we will create another measure copying the same contact and we will not do the formatting instead of that we will use the single measure here same measure and only the format will be changed this is very important because this is what a single version of truth meaning like uh, if you maintain multiple measures then at that time there is a possibility of error you will change the logics once here when there is a changes in the logic you will forget in the other place that will show different values so this is what a uh, very good semantic model approach where only for the formatting you can override wherever it is required this is very important feature that you should aware i hope you like this video if you like it hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and please comment in the uh, chat where what contents you are interested in so that i will make in the future if you are new to this channel subscribe button and do remember that data is asset